Today, we're looking at this Zigbee LED controller. This controller specifically supports only RGB lights. So if your RGB strip has four pins, voltage, red, green, and blue, it should be good. And because this is Zigbee, it should work with a bunch of hubs. Myself, I'm using Home Assistant. This one works with a bunch of voltages as well, from 5 volt stripped, 12 volt strip, up to 24 volt strip. In this video, we're working with a 12 volt strip, so of course, the input for this controller will be 12 volt as well. This controller is tiny, and here's a number 2 pencil for comparison. Wiring is super easy. Once you have a 12 volt DC power supply, all you have to do is feed it in on this end. Negative to negative, positive to positive. For the LED strip side, all you have to do is match the colors up. Blue to blue, green to green, red to red, and black to voltage. There's one button here, the set button. Once your hub is in pairing mode, all you have to do is press this button four times. If for whatever reason the button does not work, you can always unplug and plug it back in four times. How do you know if the controller is in pairing mode? Well, if you did it correctly, then the LED strip will be pulsating. It will go from about 100% brightness down to 50% and then ramp up back to 100% and then up and down, up and down like that. Here's another angle of the controller from the side. You can use a barrel jack and just plug it straight in. No need to strip any wires. As mentioned before, I'm using Home Assistant, so getting it in is pretty easy. Go to your Zigbee to MQTT on the left-hand side. Click on Permit Join. And then press that button I mentioned earlier four times. Once the controller pairs successfully with your hub, then it should show up as something like this. Tuya TS0503B. Click on the pencil icon to rename it to whatever you want. I will already rename mine to be Kitchen LED because that's where it will be. Checkbox this and then hit rename and then you're done. If you want to take it out for a spin real quick, let's click on Settings. Integrations, go down to MQTT, click on Devices, search for device, this will be LED Kitchen, toggle this to turn on instantly. Click on the bulb if you want to change the brightness and any colors that you want. Right now it's red. If you click on effects, there's not much, and I, I honestly can't tell what the difference is between all of these. I feel that all the effects are pretty much the same, in the sense that they're pulsing. Now that we know that the LED is working perfectly fine, let's set up some useful automation. Click on Settings, Automations, Create New Automation. I already have mine set up and this is what it looks like. The trigger for this automation is when the sensors in the front of the house is turned to true, meaning someone is at the front door. The condition is between 7am and 11pm. And when somebody is at the door, a bunch of actions happen. But in this example, we only care about turning on the kitchen LED. So let's click on it and see. The service will be light turn on. The target will be the entity that we added in earlier before, which is the kitchen LED. Checkbox on this color. And then click on the color that you want. I want it to be red. Checkbox on the brightness and turn all the way to 100%. I added another action which is delay, meaning wait for 5 minutes to pass. After 5 minutes pass by, go ahead and turn the lights off. So this time we're going to call the service light off. The target will be the kitchen LED again. And that's it. Click on save and done. Combining the LED strip with this automation is extremely useful because sometimes you don't want an audio alert. That can be annoying. Or you can't hear the audio because the music is playing way too loud in the house. But when somebody's at the door, I would definitely know because the light is turned on. And here's another useful example. When the garage door is open, go ahead and turn the light on and stay on. There's two trigger IDs. One is for open and one is for close. Now in the actions section, you can see there's two actions. One is when the condition is open. And when it's open, go ahead and turn on the LED. This time, the color will be green. The brightness will be 100%. Next up, you can see what happens when the garage is now closed. 
When the condition changed to close, go ahead and call the service light turn off. The target would be the kitchen LED that we chose. And then click on save. You are now done. Finally, let's take a look at this map. Oh, and in case you're curious, this Zigbee controller also acts as a repeater. Not only does the controller help with automation, but it also boosts up my Zigbee signal throughout the house. I hopefully this video helps you with controlling the RGB controller. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.